Chapter 5 Mass Media In this chapter we are going to look on to following topics 1 Introduction to Mass Media 2 History of Mass Media 3 Why do we need mass media 4 critical understanding of the information received through mass media 5 mass media and professional opportunities introduction to mass media mass media contains two words mass in the context means an aggregation of people media means various modes of communication thus Mass media is a field of mass communication. We can easily send some information to a far away destination through a medium of communication. In the olden days, a crier would run in the street beating drums and crying out important news according to the orders of the king. The news would spread among people by word of mouth. history of mass media printing technology and newspapers were introduced in india after the arrival of the british people started receiving printed news through newspapers newspapers became the first mass medium of circulating information and knowledge among people newspapers one newspaper is a publication which mainly prints news editorials people's opinion entertaining content etc two the objectives of newspapers are providing local national and international news three other objectives of newspapers include creating awareness and providing a secure platform for people to voice their opinions four Newspapers are historical documents which record current events. Precursors of newspaper. In the olden days, a crier would run in the streets beating drums and crying out important news according to the orders of the king. The news would spread among people by word of mouth. Before the beginning of the common era, there was a custom in Egypt of placing inscriptions with royal decrees at public places in the roman empire royal decrees were written on papers and those were distributed in all regions during julius caesar's reign newspapers known as acta diurna used to be placed at public places in the 7th century royal dictates were distributed among people at public places 5 in england handouts used to be distributed occasionally giving information about wars and important events 6 travelers would add spice to stories from far away places and narrate it to local people 7 the ambassadors of a king posted at various places would send back important news to the royal court let us move on to the concept of bengal gazette one printing technology and newspapers were introduced in india after the arrival of the british two the first english newspaper of india was printed on 29th january 1780 three it was named as calcutta general advertiser or bengal gazette four it was started by james augustus hickey an irish gentleman let's have a look on the concept of darpan one the first marathi newspaper darpan was started in 1832 by bal shastri jambhekar two it was also published in english as the bombay darpan three The newspaper reviewed the political, economic, social and cultural events of those times. 4. 
Some of the news titles printed in Durban are A. The accounts in expenditure from the three administrative divisions of the East India Company. B. The danger of Russian attack on the nation. C. Appointment of a committee for cleanliness of the city. D. Remarriage of Hindu widows. E. The inception of theatre at Calcutta. F. Achievements of Raja Ram Mohan Roy in England. 5. He also started the first Marathi monthly magazine named Digdarshan. 6. He is referred to as the father of Marathi journalism by virtue of being the editor of first Marathi newspaper. 7. His birthday, 6th January, is observed in Maharashtra as the Patrakar Din. Journalist Day. Let us move on to the concept of Prabhakar. 1. Prabhakar was the newspaper started by Bhau Mahajan, Govind Vithal Kunte. 2. The history of French Revolution and Shatpatre, the letters by Lokhitwadi, Gopal Hari Deshmukh, which were aimed at creating social awareness, were published in this newspaper. Let's have a look on the concept of Nyanoday. 1. A Marathi newspaper Nyanoday printed the map of Asia 1842 and the map of Europe 1851. 2. The honor of printing the first illustration in an Indian newspaper goes to Nyanoday. 3. The news of installation of telegraph, starting of railways in India, can be seen in Nyanoday. 4. The news of the starting of railways in India was printed under the title Chakya Mahasoba, meaning Mahasoba with wheels. 5. It had also printed the news of the Indian War of Independence of 1857. Let us move on to the concept of Kesari and Maratha. 1. In 1881, Gopal Ganesh Agarkar and Bal Gangadhar Tilak started two newspapers, Kesari and Maratha. 2. They indicated an important stage in the history of Indian independence. 3. They spoke about the social and political issues of that period. 4. Kesari also published articles on nationwide situations and books on politics of England in native languages, magazines and journals. 1. Magazines and journals are periodical publications, which means they are published weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly and quarterly, six-monthly, annual, etc. 2. There may be some chronicles which are published at no fixed time. 3. Bal Shastri Jambekar started the first monthly magazine in Marathi named Digdarshan. 4. Among the periodicals Pragati was started and edited by Triambak Shankar Shedzwalkar in 1929. 5. It was a historiographical journal of Maharashtra's history and social movements. 6. Currently, there are many periodicals devoted to Indian history such as Bharatiya Itihas Anisanskriti and Marathwada Itihas Parishad Patrika. Electronic or Digital Journalism 1. Electronic or Digital Journalism includes ultra-modern periodicals. 2. History is a prime subject of interest for these periodicals as well. 3. Many web news portals, social media, web channels like YouTube etc. make historical content available to the audience. Radio 1. Indian Broadcasting Company, IBC, was the first private radio company to broadcast daily programs. 2. Later, this company was taken over by the British government and was named as Indian State Broadcasting Service, ISBS. 3. 
On 8th June 1936 it was renamed as All India Radio AIR for after independence All India Radio became an integral part of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting 5 Initially it broadcasted governmental programs and schemes 6 It was named as Akashwani on the suggestion of the famous poet Pandit Narendra Sharma 7 Akashwani broadcast various awareness creating literary and entertainment programs 8 It also broadcast special programs for farmers, workers, the youth and women. 9. The Vivid Bharti programs are broadcasted in 24 regional languages as well as 146 dialects of Indian languages. 10. Lately, various new channels like Radio Mirchi are providing radio services, television. The Delhi Doordarshan Center was inaugurated by Dr Rajendra Prasad the first indian president doordarshan's mumbai center began to telecast its programs on 1st may 1972 color television was introduced on 15th august 1982 in 1991 the indian government granted permission to private national and international channels to telecast in india Thus it became possible for Indians to watch international events on television. Why do we need mass media? 1. Mass media is considered as the fourth pillar of Indian democracy. 3. It helps in reaching to masses and provide a platform to voice our opinions. 4. Social, political and economic awareness can be created through mass media. 5 information regarding present and historical events is made available to us in the simplest form 6 newspapers and other medias publish and present authentic information after doing a lot of research which keeps us well informed about the changing times critical understanding of the information received through mass media 1 The news or information in the media may not always represent exact truth. 2. We need to research the real events and scan it very carefully. 3. There is a event of unauthentic information appearing in print was in Stern, a German weekly magazine. 4. This magazine sold the so-called handwritten diaries of Adolf Hitler. to various publication companies 5 while verifying it was found that the diaries were forged fake 6 incidences of fake news on social media has become a critical issue in the recent times hence any information received through mass media needs to be reviewed critically mass media and professional opportunities 1 Mass media includes various modes of communication like newspapers, magazines, journals, radio, television and other media platforms available due to internet. 2. Newspapers include columns and articles written by professionals. Newspaper publishers require a large workforce who is capable of researching, proofreading, editing and designing the content 3 in today's times there are magazines and journals on every topic possible they provide professional opportunities to creative writers authors editors etc 4 in the radio industry the demand for radio jockeys historians creative writers music composers etc is increasing 5 Television industry provide a huge number of professional opportunities to journalists, creative writers, researchers and historians, art consultants, etc. 6. People voicing their opinions regarding important matters can raise their agendas on blogs, websites, 
and other social media platforms. 7. Due to the increasing digitization in all fields, professionals from information technology field are also required in creating software for e-newspapers, news applications, etc. Thus, mass media industry offers a tremendous scope to professionals willing to work in this industry. How is history helpful in planning of Akashwani programs? 1. Akashwani broadcasts various entertainment and awareness creating programs. 2. For such programs, Akashwani has preserved recordings of all speeches delivered each year by the Prime Ministers of India on 15th August. 3. Akashwani invites historians as experts for discussion on various occasions such as the anniversaries of birth or death of national leaders, anniversaries of historical events, etc. 4. Lectures on the contribution of various national leaders need to be supported by historical information. 5. Programs like On This Day in History are also an integral part of daily programs of Akashwani. Thus, history is essential and helpful in planning Akashwani programs. Television is the most popular medium. 1. Television is an audio-visual medium. 2. Television crossed the limitations of newspapers and the radio and in showing the actual visuals of an event to people. 3. So far, there is no other alternative to television for watching an event as it actually happened. 4. We can watch news, sports events, television serials, reports on historical events, documentaries, cartoons, etc. on television. Currently, channels like Discovery, National Geographic, History, etc. have opened a rich treasure of global history for the audience. 6. It has enabled people to view the historical and geographic wonders at home. Therefore, it can be said that television is the most popular medium of communication. Bharat Ek Khoj 1. Bharat Ek Khoj, based on Discovery of India, a book by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, was a serial telecasted by Doordarshan. 2. It has a special place in the history of Indian television serials. 3. It was directed by Sham Benegal. 4. This serial presented the history of India from the ancient to the modern period, highlighting the social, cultural and political history of respective periods. 5. It portrayed many aspects of Indian history like Harappan civilization, Vedic history, interpretation of Ramayana and Mahabharata, role of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, and Indian struggle for independence, etc. very effectively. 6. Roshan Seth was the actor who played Pandit Nehru's role in the serial, who appeared as a narrator, introducing and explaining various parts of the story by dramatizing them using folklore and informative speeches.